Here we have a Rolex Jubilee bracelet for a GMT 1675 two-tone. This is the watch. This bracelet has been supposedly refurbished by Michael Young, otherwise known as Classic Watch Repairs, in Hong Kong at a cost of 450 US dollars uh, in round figures. The problem with this refurbishment is that uh, the watch, uh, or the bracelet I should say, is designed to go through this end link and then to be retained on the watch case by this pin going through the holes that are shown here if you can see uh, I'll just you can see there that these these holes are very tiny and in fact they've been reduced so small that they can hardly penetrate through the end link now it's important that these loops be sufficiently long enough to not only go through the end loop or the end link I should say as shown here and then the pin be able to be put through which the holes are too small for the standard Rolex GMT spring bar to fit through sorry if we just look at this uh, I'll try and put this through you can see it just won't fit either way it's not possible but the problem is further compounded by the fact that when you put the loop through the end link here as I've shown here it has to then fit through the lugs and you can see that the hole that the pin is to go through is recessed back into the lug so it's not at the end it has so when one puts the end link and the pin through the end link it has to go some distance into the watch for it to to actually fit and the problem is that those loops have been manufactured so small that they are not long enough to extend through the end link and through sufficiently for the pin to go through the Rolex uh, lugs and the pin holes through the lugs um, I've got some photographs to further de demonstrate see here this is a photograph of uh, what is an original Rolex bracelet where you can see the fabrication of the end holes are elongated here sufficiently to pass through the holes in the end link and into the case here we have by way of contrast a blown up photograph of this actual bracelet and you'll see the holes are very narrow and they do not extend that is they're not elongate, elongated to pass through the end link as was shown in the previous photograph here so as a result what is required and it's not possible um, as these holes are welded shut it's not possible to simply make the holes bigger by 
for instance, pushing some pin through them um, or, or otherwise uh, enlarging them by, by any sort of force. As classic watch repairs, Michael Young suggested to use simply brute force to get the pin to push through. As I said, the, the holes are not elongated enough, even if that was to be the case, for the, uh, the holes or the bracelet to, to then be able to fit onto the bracelet. So uh, it's basically a total failure. And I'm going to have to send this bracelet now to an alternative jeweler and he's going to have to refabricate using uh, 14 karat gold and other uh, expensive materials and techniques to refabricate the end loops on both ends of the bracelet. Um, it's not simply isolated to one end. Uh, as you can see here, I can't get it through there. can't get it through there um, it's entirely unsatisfactory situation by Michael Young who's refused to uh, help and I have no confidence that he would be able to remedy this in any way that I have no trust or confidence in him to affect this so it's going to cost significant money for me to have another company remedy this significant defect that uh, Michael Young, as a watch repairer and bracelet repairer uh, of a number of years, you would have expected would have got it right in the first place.